all right all right this is daddy boy here coming up the video now if you seen my other video when i told you i was going back on the road and uh i was going to be telling you about the inner enemy well i actually found out exactly what the inner enemy is man and um i was in um i was in baton rouge louisiana okay so my goal now is to explain to you what i saw and what i know but i also have to be able to not rat out the people that i i came in contact with the people so i made a promise to them and i have to be honest you guys they actually have their own god okay they have their own god it's not the real god but they actually have their own god that's which is which is backing them so i made a, a promise to their god i didn't make a promise to them okay i didn't make no promise to them i made a promise to their god okay so i'm gonna try my best to keep my promise chances are that's not gonna i'm not gonna be able to keep it so uh but i'm gonna do my best okay so let's get started um oh where do i start um basically I don't really know how to put it into words, but there are there's, there's absolutely two manner of people in this world. There are two manner of people in this world. Okay, there's two people in this world who have two different outlooks of what the world is. Okay, it's two manner of peoples. They have two different outlooks on on the world. They are heavily communicated. They know who they are. Okay, so for an example, if I walk into a restaurant and it's like 50 of them sitting in the restaurant, as soon as I walk into the restaurant, they're going to know he's not one of us. As soon as I walk in. Now, when I walk in, all I see is people that I don't know. But in reality, those people in that in that in that in that area, they are the same manner of people, if that makes sense. If you understand what I'm saying. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. And you guys can see if you can process what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I went to this truck stop. I had to stop for the night. And I said, let me grab me a sub right quick before I go to sleep. So I went in, I went into the subway. I got a six-inch veggie sub, sub, no cheese, white bread, just like that. So as the guy was fixing my sub, something said, watch he give you the bad side of the bread, which is the left side of the bread. And sure enough, he cut the bread right in half. This was a black guy. He cut the bread right in half and he gave me the bad side of the bread. So I mentally told him, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I mentally said to him, I said, listen, I know that bread is bad, but I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat it anyway. If the most high is not talking to you and telling you not to give me that bread, it's because you're now going to be under my judgment. I'm going to remember that you gave me that bread. If something happens to me, you now under my judgment and the cash register guy looked at him and gave him a signal he took that bread threw it in the trash went back to the oven and gave me the other bread which he was supposed to give me in the first place okay that's all this i didn't say i didn't say a word to him i mentally told him this and the guy at the cash register he was a black guy too he actually heard me as well and he signaled him don't give him that bread now this is what i'm telling you guys they do this to you every single time that i call it trespassing against you when somebody trespasses against you they're now under your judgment but they cannot be under your judgment if you do not realize that they're trespassing against you that's how it works so if you look at the world and you say hey we all the same people we all one we all one people then that means if somebody's trespassing against you then you're not you're not putting judgment on them you have to first thing you have to understand we are not the same people and these people that I'm talking about this is the bad part about it they're black they're white they're Asian they're all types of colors you guys so you can't say oh it's all white people no it's not these were two black people these are two black males one was probably um the guy at the cash register he was probably like 26 and the guy who tried to give me the bad bread, he was probably 20, 28 years old. But I knew exactly what to do. All right? I knew exactly what to do. Now, these people are all around you, man. Like I said, my, my job is not to rat them out completely. 
my job is to get you guys um, up and running and prepare you for what's going to happen. Now, this is what's going to happen, okay? Now, I'm talking to the people that, that are important to me. All right, listen. Right now, as I speak to you, you are not operating under your own awareness. Let's make that clear. All right. You're not operating on your own awareness. You have a different awareness. And no matter what you do, it's going to come online. OK, now, the people that I just told you about, they know your awareness is going to come online. They're already they that. Listen, they're waiting for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're waiting for you. They know your awareness is going to come online. And they're absolutely waiting on you. Okay. Now, as I said, they know exactly who you are. They know exactly where you are. And they're watching you. Now, listen, when your awareness come online, when it comes online, nobody can tell you anything. Okay. No one can tell you anything. No one will be able to lie to you and say, hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. That's all going to be a lie. OK, when you gain your awareness, no one can tell you anything. All right. That's how powerful it is. Like I, said, I don't know how long it's going to take for it to happen. I don't know how long it's going to take. What I, my guess is this. From what I saw. It should come online within the next. Uh, I would say the next three years. OK. Now, this video is not for everybody, man. I don't know. I don't know how many people out there who understand what I'm about to say, what I'm saying to you. But listen, when your awareness come online, man. Just know that, listen. There's a whole civilization around you that, that is watching you and they are waiting for you to, to show up and to realize who you are and what you can actually do. They're waiting. Some of these people are called watchers. Have you ever heard that term? Oh, I'm a watcher. What are you watching for? Who are you watching for? Okay. All right. But this is just a little bit of what I had to tell you guys right now. But yeah, man, I saw it. I saw that I met these people in Louisiana, um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I, I met them down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to rat them out completely. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not worried about them. You know what I mean? I'm not going to rat them out completely. I'm not re I'm not even I'm not even worried about them. You know what I mean? My job is to get you guys up and running. I don't know how many there's how many how many we are. I don't know how many, but my job is just to get you up and running, man, because when this thing hit I don't know what's going to happen, dog. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know how this thing going to go down, but yo, it's it's most of y'all probably going to just be pissed, man. I believe most people are going to just be pissed, man. But like I say, I definitely saw it. I was in um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, uh, you know, as I speak to you right now, I'm using um, a false uh, right now. As I speak, to you, I'm using a false awareness right now. You know, I'm not even operating under my, my true awareness right now. I know what it is. I know what my true awareness is. But it's being stopped. It's being blocked. You know what I mean? But it's it's OK. You know, when I do show up, it's going to be game time. You know what I mean? It is what it is. The team is still going to get together. We're still going to make it happen. You know what I mean? So don't even worry about this election, man. That election was a that election was a joke, you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a I already knew Trump was going to win. Because in the history of the United States, it's always been eight years Democrat, eight years Republicans. Eight years Democrat, eight years Republicans. And those two people are the same people. They're the same manner of people. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Donald Trump used to be a Democrat. He went to Hillary's wedding. Like, come on, son. Like, come on, man. But anyways, like I say, they all the same manner of people. Okay? They all the same manner of people. Sorry for the video being so long, you guys. Hope you watched the whole video, and I hope that you got some um, important information from me, man. But um, like I say, be aware of your awareness. Whatever you do, before I let you guys go, whatever you do, always focus on how you feel in the inside do not worry about what you see on the outside because if what's in the inside is wrong then what's on the outside is going to be wrong okay you start to see chemtrails 
is something going on in the inside. You got to focus on the inside. You got to fix what's going on in the inside. You have to keep an eye on what's going on in the inside. And these people are running formations on us and putting spirits on us that, don't, that do not represent us. That's what the formation, they got traffic formations. They got, they got regular, when they stand up behind you, they got formations when they stand behind you. I mean, these, these dudes are, they, they're getting it in on us. You know what I mean? They definitely getting it in. But you know what? Every dog has his day. You know what I mean? Every dog has his day. All right, this is Daddy Boy, signing off.